So here we've got a bit of a beast of a level 1 question. It's 6 marks overall, so there's a lot of stuff for us to do. Louise wants to save money on her electricity bills. She finds out that it costs £7,500 in total to put solar panels on her roof. The panels will generate electricity for Louise. She can sell any extra electricity she does not need to her electricity company. Louise thinks she can get £150 every three months for the electricity she sells. She also thinks that she can save £300 each year on her electricity bill. Louise works out it will take less than 10 years to cover the £7,500 for the solar panels. Is she correct? So there's a couple different things going on. She is saving money on her electricity and she's actually gaining money by selling electricity back to the electricity company. Let's work out in one year how much money she makes from the electricity company, actually earning money by selling her electricity back to them. We are told that she makes £150 every three months for the electricity she sells. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out how much she would make in one month. If £150 comes in every three months, then every month it should be about a third of that. So this £50 tells me that she earns £50 monthly. Monthly earning. Good. Uh, so what is that in a year? Well, there are 12 months in a year, so take your monthly earning and times it by 12. So in a year, she earns £600. So now I'm happy with the earnings, that's how much she earns a year, and now I want to look at how much she's actually saving on her electricity bill. And that's quite straightforward. She thinks she will save £300 each year. That's fine. So in total, by having the solar panels, she's saving £300 a year, and she's gaining another £600 a year. So in total, that's £900 that she is better off because she's got the solar panels every year. Uh, so I'm just going to call that the yearly total. Cool. Now we need to work out whether she's right in thinking it takes less than 10 years to cover the cost of the panels. Well, if I take this yearly total that she is going to be better off and multiply this yearly total by how long she thinks it will take, that answer will be how much money she is better off over this amount of time. So, for example, if I wanted to know how much money she saved... Uh, over two years, I times it by two, or three for three years. But she thinks it's ten years, so I'm going to times it by ten, and that this number here means that she is that over ten years. That's how much money she's uh, saving, or how much how much better off she is. So, is Louise correct? Uh, she thinks it will take less than ten years. I agree because in ten years she's saving nine thousand pounds, and her panels only cost seven thousand five hundred. So, is she correct? Yes, she is. Now, part B wants us to show a check of our working out. So, as always, when there's a check question, I'm going to set it out like this to show the examiner and to make it really clear that I'm answering part B of this question now. So, to show a check of your working, I'm going to take one of the four calculations I've done here, doesn't matter which one I choose, and I want to do it backwards to show a reverse calculation to make sure the numbers make sense. Uh, I'm just going to choose this part here. So, reverse calculation, I need to start with the answer, which was 600. Uh, this equation was, this calculation we did, was a times, so reverse calculation, do it backwards. I've got my starting value, I've got my operation, my sign, uh, now I'm just going to follow the numbers backwards. So, 600 divided by 12, and my answer should be 50, I hope. If this calculation is correct, then when I press equals, it will say 50, and it does. And that tells me that this thing I did here was correct. I've checked my answer and it was fine. So there we go, one mark for the check and then five marks for all of this working out and our answer, yes.